installed one cable right here after using my JB quick weld on it. As you see, it fit in perfect. So, yeah, I think this will be a good solution. We'll try them out here in a second. There's that one all hooked up and then got the cable in place. And ready to go. I got one more cable to put on, then we'll install the lock assembly. I came up with a new method of how I'm putting these rubbers on the cable. I got one on right here, ready to go. And I'm going to put this one on and show you how I do it and how quick and easy it is. Okay. What you need is your heat gun, a rag, and pliers, or a needle nose like I'm using. And uh, it seems to work pretty good. I put the cable all the way in, attach it in my vise, and we'll see if I can set the camera up to where you can see what I'm doing. So we'll go ahead and try to do this real quick. I don't know if I can do this. I can build that, but I can't work a camera. Pretty bad. All right, here we go. Take your hose, put your notch end on the outside. Just get it over the ball is all you got to do, a little bit. Press it on. Okay. Now just heat her up for about a minute. Kind of grab the hose first right here, get her on a little bit first, slide her down on, slide it a little further, grab it with the rag, tap the hose. You want to leave this thing an eighth inch out from going all the way home because of those collars had a little bit of a, there you go, cable through, hose done, that quick and easy. Things cool and it'll be stuck on there like glue, which I'll probably put some glue on anyway, just to make sure that's up to your discretion, whatever you want to do. I'll mix up some JB Weld and strengthen my uh, my ends up with some JB Weld again, the quick weld. I just put a little coating on to help sturdy up or stiffen up that hose. Okay, okay, got the other cable done. Now it's installed. Have the mechanisms all together. So we are going to go ahead and put uh, put it inside the door and see what we got. And put the latch assembly in. Let's see, and I'll hook up the cables on the on the levers, and we'll see if they work. If they work, then we'll get nervous enough to shut the door and see, because it was a job getting this undone. No, I went ahead and uh, mixed up some more quick weld and mounted it at the end of the cables and the rubber, just to make sure these won't slide through afterwards if they pull some pressure on it. They shouldn't, but just better make sure, because these are hard to get to afterwards if not. All right. Got all the cable on the latch assembly. Now I'm putting it on the handle and I'm worried about it popping off. So I'm going to tie wire it around it, around the, the back there where it holds the cable in. I'll put a piece of tie wire and I'm going to mix up some more good old JB Weld. I'll coat it on down and we'll put her together. And as you can see, I got this other one. And I got it coated pretty good inside. And I got the back one 
that has a bend on it. So I coated it real good because it'll be bending down to hit that next latch. And I didn't want to take a chance. So, okay, we got the latch back in, the handles are all installed. As you can see, there's our rig. We got that one epoxied. There's the main latch system up there, all epoxied. You can see how that one bends. That's why I gooped her up real good because a lot of stress on that one cable. And it goes right to there. And we got the one right up here for the inside latch. I got that one gooped in. So now we'll try it out and see if all of our mechanisms work. And all we'll do to do that is come to the latch. Be like it would be a striker bolt. Use a screwdriver. Flip it up. And I'll go ahead and this poor inside handle opens right up. Let's try. Okay, now we'll try our outside handle. See how it does. Perfect. Now the big test. We'll shut the doors. See how it does. We did this cable already. Inside door works perfect. Now we'll try the outside door. There we go. They got to replace the window still. But all in all, I think we might have it. Just like new. And save 300 bucks in the process. All right. Hope that helps you out. And good luck if you do it. It takes about uh, two hours it took me to do them cables. And it saved $400. So $200 an hour. Or I guess that's 291 So $150 an hour. That ain't bad. Save that kind of money. All right. Have a good one. All right, Eddie. Voila. Voila. Then we got the inside. Got them all.